Hello everybody and welcome to Hashtag Active for Life, our exciting physical education show where we get to get a better understanding of the types of activities you can do in order to stay healthy and active. I'm your host Norman Mpake and together we're going to learn about the importance of physical education but most of all we're going to have fun. We're going to talk about certain concepts of physical education and also get you to do some activities with us. But before we do that, uh, I'd like us to revise some of those considerations that you need to be uh, thinking about, that your teachers need to have in place, and that you are able to uh, understand your environment and the type of things that you're doing in order to enjoy uh, your, all your physical education lessons and get the best out of them. Now we've spoken about these before, but it's always important for us to reflect, revise, and, 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 and repeat some of these things um, so that you have a better understanding and consolidate all your understanding of physical education so the considerations that we spoke about we've talked about that all learners must have an active role in all physical education lessons at all times that learners must get an opportunity to participate in all different positions that is because if an activity has different roles uh, and functions um, that you must have an opportunity to experience those different roles and functions so that you can expand your knowledge and experiences accumulate the same number of repetitions as all other learners so that you are able to develop accordingly so that you have an, exp an experience that is equally distributed to all learners and that you are always placed in an enjoyable learning environment. Um, we've always re-emphasized that the intensity, duration and load of all physical education lessons must be age and developmentally appropriate, but in other words, this must be just responding to what the curriculum requirements are and that the teacher will always focus on the learner's ability to demonstrate a clear understanding of the concepts and techniques because it's important that you understand what you're doing, why you're doing it, and how it has an impact on your personal life and your development within your educational experience. We've spoken about something that is often ignored is that formations are actually an important part of all lessons and in physical education that the formations must correspond to the type of activities being done, but that formations actually form part of the teaching and learning experience that you have because you have different orientations and different understandings in pairs, individually, on, on the ground, seated or standing or lying down in, in rows or, or columns, in semicircles or full circles. So it's, it's, also, it's always important to have a, a clear understanding of the experiences that you're going to have and that because physical education is a practical subject, you have to understand that all things that you're doing have an implication on how you are learning and experiencing that lesson. But it's always important that we look at the next part, which is the safety considerations that you must be there must be consideration for safety of the type of activity you're doing, the space that you're utilizing, and the equipment that you're using. So in the space that you're occupying, that there are no bottles or things lying around that could harm you, or that the equipment is placed in a way that does not infringe about your free movement, and that other learners are not in a, in a position that's going to create, create harm, or that they collide. So that safety considerations take place throughout the lesson, in your planning, in the execution, and throughout the lesson um, that you're going to have that. We've always spoken about how all these lessons are meant to entice you, to enthuse you to be more active, and to enlighten you about what physical education is. But for today, I want us to look at a concept called the positive principle. So the physical education positive principle, which is, is, is around the teaching practices in physical education. And for today, we're going to look at two issues, which is around planning and organization. So it is important that you see them. So if you see the, 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 the word, how it's structured, P for plan, O for organize, those are part of the positive, P O S I. T-I-V-E is positive, P-O-S-I-T-I-V-E. And you'll see, we'll talk about these particular things. So what is important in this particular area is that all your lessons must be planned in line with the curriculum. So all lesson plans must be curriculum orientated. They must respond to what the curriculum expects for you to be taught at that time of the year within that term, within your grade. And so the lessons must be planned in advance, the lessons must be planned in accordance to what the curriculum expectations are. And that when you have well-planned lessons, it becomes easier to organize your lessons. So when you organize your lessons, it's based on the plan and that you're able to arrange the area, you arrange the equipment, you arrange the learners in a particular manner. And so it is important, so when we look at those two components, planning and organization, you will start seeing how then 
for example, the things we spoke about, the formations, you plan your lesson and make sure that each activity has a particular formation that corresponds to it and that you organize the learners in that particular format. You plan your lesson that it's going to use particular equipment, so you, therefore you must organize the equipment in a particular way so you save time so that when the activities are taking place, all you do is move over to those activities. So the planning and organization also plays part in the safety considerations that you're going to have. So when you're planning, that you're making sure that you position learners correctly, that you place your equipment in the right place, and that you're able to make sure that they have an experience that allows them to have sufficient repetition because you have put them in certain formations that allow them to have an opportunity to experience different positions at different times. But for us to see that in practice, we're going to move over to Tisha Sahil for the practical session. Hi guys and welcome to today's episode. Guys, today we're going to have loads of fun because we're going to be focusing on leadership games that encourage various movements of your body that try and also improve various movements of your body. Let's go check them out. So guys, our warm-up exercise or game today is called hand soccer. All right, so guys, this game is quite similar to soccer, but we use a tennis ball and we use our hands. I've got Mangmova with me, Rex, Nikash, and the friendly Labdub, who is, who's going to take part in this game. So guys, let's pick teams first. And remember, the focus for today is to promote leadership. So we're gonna pick teams and we're gonna pick two captains. So Mangmova and myself will be on one team, all right? And Rex and Nikash will be on one team. So who's your captain, guys? Ah, Rex. So Rex is going to captain this team. He's got all the responsibility. And the captain of my, our team is Mangoba. All right, Mangoba, are you excited? Yeah. All right, so guys, let's get started. Two teams, two players, and let's get the ball rolling. Okay, so Labdab, you can join us. You can be our, our cheerleader. So guys, you can see there's two goals there, or one goal with two cones. There's another goal with two cones, which we are defending. All right, so the rules of hand soccer, guys, is like I said, we're gonna use a tennis ball. You're gonna pass it to your team, teammate on the ground. He's gonna catch it with two hands. He's not allowed to move with the ball, but I'm allowed to move with the ball. So I'm going to get into space. Mangoba, throw it to me on the ground. So, yeah, I'm gonna pick it up and he's going to go into space and we're gonna try and score. All right, guys, Ngoba, you ready? Guys, you ready? Lab dub. Yeah, all right, let's go. Okay, guys. Go, try and intercept. Go. Good, well done. Go, Ngoba. Go, score, go, score. Yeah! All done, high five. So the score is 1-0 to Mangoba's team. So give them the ball. <laughs> Good. Okay, so Mangoba get ready. And let's go, remember? Catching it with two hands, eh? Okay, Mangoba going to space. Go, 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 go! Remember, you can't run with the ball. And this is a really good workout to get the legs pumping. Okay, Mangoba, go. Yeah. Go, 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 go into space. Go, score. Yes, yeah, score. Well done. Okay, guys. <laughs> Okay, half time, half time, let's take a break. Rex, you the, the captain, you can have a chat with your player. Mangoba, you and I will have a chat. Okay, so what's the chat? Yes. So what you're saying is we need to keep moving. Okay, Labda, what do you think? All right, so we're doing really well. Keep putting them under pressure. If I have the ball, run into spaces. 
All right, we won't do long passes, we'll do short passes. Ready, let's go. Okay, lab dab. Lab dab, high five. Thank you, thank you. Okay, guys, you ready? Hope you have a game plan. And let's go. Okay, you go team, I'll mark me. Go. Ah, oh, two, one. Two, one. Okay, so game plan. You mark one guy. Okay. Ready, let's go. Well done. Good pass, well done. Well done. Okay. So guys, let's stop. Let's change it up. Now we're going to throw with our right hand and catch with our right hand. Okay. Let's go. You mark Rex. You mark Rex. Go on, Ngoba. Score with your right hand. Keep going, keep going. Ah, oh, I picked it up with two hands, guys. So if I picked it up with two hands, the other team gets the ball. Come, remember, it's picking it up with one hand. One hand, Rex. Oh. Okay, three, two. Okay, guys, now we're gonna change it up. We're gonna go throwing with one hand in the air, catching with two hands. But to score, we need to throw underarm on the ground. Got it? Let's go. Let's go. Go. Remember, short passes is a better, it's a better option. Yes. Go. Mangoba, go! Yes! Go! 3-3 three, three. Okay, last goal wins Okay, let's go Remember? The goal here is to pass it quickly When you touch it, pass it Okay, let's go Go mark him. Okay, guys, that's the game. Ngoba, high five. Rex, high five. Nikash, high five. They are the winners, Love Dub. Okay, guys, let's come to the center. All right. So that was a really good game. Um, Mangoba. What do you think of the game? Yeah. So, so what Mangoba says is it requires good movement. It helps you move your feet and your legs. All right, so very good. As a captain, he did really well. We had a team talk. He gave me his tactics and strategy, which was fantastic. All right. Rex, how was your team? Our team was great. We communicated not only to uh, the but to the body. Excellent. So Rex is saying the communication was good. They communicated verbally, but they also communicated through their bodies. So the positive energy moving into spaces and so on. So guys, that was our warm up hand soccer. Hope you had fun. Let's move on to the main exercises. So guys, the first exercise or the first main game of the day is called dodgeball. Are you guys excited? Yeah. All right. So are you excited, Mangoba? Yeah. All right. So guys, we're going to play dodgeball, but there's a bit of a twist to it. It's not normal dodgeball rules, but I'll take you through the rules. 
But before we go through the rules, there's two teams, like before. Rex's team, and Rex is the captain, and then Mangoba's team, where he's the captain. All right, so guys, the rules of dodgeball, let's take a walk to the exercise or the game facility. Guys, you can see there's various different balls, all right? Normally with dodgeball, you would have to use kind of a round big ball, but we've only got one or two, right? You can use any ball. Okay, you lay the balls down in the middle. There's two teams. This is our half, and that's the opposition's half, all right? All that happens is we start on this line, okay, or these cones. When I say go, we're gonna run, pick up any ball. The opposition's also going to run, so let's walk it through. So you guys are gonna run, you're gonna pick up any ball. So if I pick up this ball, and then we go back into position and we need to try and hit the opposition team, all right? But the rule with this type of dodgeball, we can only hit the opposition team if it hits them lower than the waist. All right, just to make it a bit safe, or if the ball bounces before them. Okay, if the opposition team catches my ball, so catch my ball, that means I'm eliminated. So it's two against one, all right? If he doesn't catch the ball, but if I hit him with the ball, like this, right, right, like that, he is eliminated. Then it's two versus one. All right, are you guys ready? Okay, let's get the balls. Mangoba, you can put the ball back. Yep, all good. And let's go. Ready? Hold on. Did we have a tactic session? Just have a two second um, communication break. What's our tactics? Yes. And then try to hit them, try to get at someone as soon as possible. Okay. And then you can keep on judging. From okay. So, okay, great. We've got our plan. Do you guys have your plan? Okay, so our plan also when we get the when you pick up the ball, we're gonna try and hit them as quick as possible. So if there's one out and then the camera will like Yeah. Okay, ready? And go! <laughs> you out! <laughs> oh I'm out! <laughs> okay, well done. Okay. So Team Rex wins, okay? He caught Mang Mangoba's ball and we were both eliminated. Okay, let's start again. Ready and go. Are you going out? Here, come on. Are you out, my mama? <laughs> okay. So, guys, that was a tie. As you can see, Rex caught Mangoba's ball, and then he missed his shot. So, both of us were in the in the game. So, it's a tie. All right. So, let's go one more time. Are we ready? Go. Yeah, high five, high five. Okay, well done. Yeah, Rex. So it's, the scores are 1-1. One, one. It's sudden death. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Don't worry about the rest of the balls. Don't worry about the rest of the balls. Okay. Ready? And go. <laughs> I it hit you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well done. Okay, so. Okay, so. Can I play? You can get it. It's still in your box. Try and bounce him over so he doesn't have to catch it. Well done. Go closer, go closer. You can go up to this line. All right, so did it nick you? Okay, so guys, very well done. Nikash, well done. Mangoba, well done. So this was a fun game, guys. You can play at home or at school. That's dodgeball. So what did we learn from today, guys, from this game? 
Great. Have fun. What did you learn, Mangoba? You learned about speed. All right. So 100%. Guys, we need to be agile. We need to be nimble on our feet. And this game teaches that. What it also teaches us is communication and leadership. I had a really good captain. I'm sure the other team had a really good captain. Let's move on to the next exercise. So guys, the last exercise or game for today is called soccer. I'm sure you guys know how to play soccer, but again, remember the focus is leadership and communication. So Rex's team versus Mangova's team. Are you ready guys? You guys think you, you'll win? Okay, they're not that confident, we confident. Okay guys, let's go. Okay, so let's go to the, the game setup. Mangova, you can start with the ball. In the center. Do you guys, okay, do you wanna play Ching Chong Cha? Okay, whoever wins, you are the captains, best out of one, Ching Chong Cha. Ching Chong Cha. Okay, you guys start with the ball. Okay, ready? And go. So remember, mark one person. Hello. Go. Yeah, well done. One no. Okay, so remember, if you are closer to the guy with the ball, you go mark him. Okay, and let's go. Mark him, mark him. Good, Mangoba. Go, go, go. Good, well done. Okay, if the ball goes out, it's the defending team's ball. Let's go. Run. Yes, yes, yes. Sure. Yes, yes. Two no. Well done. That was much better. Okay, 30 more seconds until half time. Mark him. Well done. Okay, man, over your boy. Okay, let's go. Quick passes. <laughs> Keep going. Go get him, go get him. Come on, over. Shoot, shoot. Oh, okay, good effort. Half time. Okay, go get the ball. Half time. Guys, you're going to have a half time team talk for 10 seconds. Okay, what's the team talk? I should say the team talk. Okay. So remember, if you're running with the ball, right? Try not to run with the ball across your goal. Because if he tackles you, it's an easy goal for him. Okay, always know, look up. So if I, got the, if I got the ball, I'm gonna look to see where you are. Right, you did well, but when you went past, you just passed it anyway, because you didn't know where I was. All right, so just make sure when you got the ball, keep looking where your teammate is. Ready, let's go. You guys ready? Two no, half time is going to start now. Let's go. Good effort, good effort. Come on, over. Okay. Quick passes, right? Quick, quick passes. Yes, high ball. Come on, over. Yes, helping you. Helping you quickly. Quick passes. Yes, sure. Go. Go. Oh. 
Go, 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 run! Run! Ah, oh, that's in! That's in! Okay, that's very good running. Okay. Remember quick passes, quick passes. Stop the ball once and pass again. If you stop the ball and someone's marking me, look up and go with it. Okay. Keep going, you're doing well, boy. Let's go. Last one minute. Go mark him. Mark Rex. But don't dive into the tackle. Don't dive into the tackle. Okay, you can still play, it's not out. It's not out. Stop the ball first, my Mangoba, stop the ball. Yeah. 30 seconds. Yeah, stop the ball first. Back to basics. Yeah, went out. Yeah, let's go. Be strong, Mangola. Strong. Yeah, is, are you okay? Yeah. Okay. Let's go. Come. Okay. Fall. Okay, you can start with it. Let's go. Go into space, go into space, go into space. Go, 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 mark him. Go, mark him. Shoot. Yeah. Okay, stop, man. Move back, come. Guys, excellent game. Well done. He got the heart rate pumping. Okay, are you okay? All right, so guys, that was us playing soccer. You can see we had a lot of fun and everyone's finding it hard to breathe, which is good. That means your heart rate is pumping. So Mangova's team, very well done, good captaincy. I'll tell you what he told me. I asked him, what's the plan? He says, listen, you run with it. So sometimes as a captain, if you feel that you need help, pass on the responsibility to your fellow colleagues. Well done, eh? Good. Rex's team, very good. Good coordination and you're almost back in the game there. Right, so thanks guys. Let's move on to the cool down. So guys, now we're going to start with the cool down. Now remember, we did quite extensive exercises that really tested our muscles. So usually with a cool down, you wanna do a static stretch, which means that you stretch without moving, right? Now we're going to do a dynamic stretch, all right? So we're going to stretch on the move. Okay, so Mangoba is going to be the leader of the, of the cool down. Are you guys okay with that? All right, we're gonna follow what he does and then we'll take it from there. Ready? Let's get into position. Okay, so Mangoba, you can start there, right? And guys, all we're doing is, you can see there's cones from here to about maybe eight to 10 meters away from us. Okay, Mangoba, let's start. So he's gonna do the, we're gonna do the hamstring kickouts. It's a very good stretch to do, to stretch out your legs. And let's do it going back. Good, try and touch those toes. Well done, love dub. There we go, nice. Now I can feel that stretch. Mangoba, the next one. Hamstring kickbacks. So you lean forward and you kick back. Lean forward and back. Nice. And we're doing it back. Back. This is a really good stretch, guys, for your legs, your hamstrings, and your hips. We've done a lot of running today. Very good, Mangoba. And let's go with one more exercise. Labdab, are you good? 
<laughs> okay, well, he's saying that we should continue. Let's go. Side shuffles. Nice, this is a good exercise for your groins. Good. And now let's turn the other way. Good. And back. Okay, guys, are you feeling a bit more? Is your muscles feeling a little bit more at ease? Lab Dub, are you good? Okay, Lab Dub needs a break, that's fine. So guys, that was, that was our cool down for today. I hope you had a lot of fun. You could see we did quite a bit of extensive exercises before and we had a really cool, a good cool down to relax those muscles. Guys, before we go, please don't forget the challenge for today is for you to let us know why, why, do, why is it important to be a good leader? What does it take to be a good leader? All right, so thanks everyone and we'll see you soon. Well, I hope you enjoyed that lesson and you've seen how, if you have planned your lesson in advance, that you're able to organize the learners in a particular way and that the activities are able to flow more fluently and so that you are able to enjoy the lessons a bit more. We ask you to remember to ask your parents to send us a video of you doing today's challenge to our WhatsApp line. Thank you for joining us today. Mm -hmm.